Hey, hey y'all, it's grocery day. And you know what? I've actually not filmed a grocery haul the last couple of weeks. I, let me tell you why. I have for the last four years filmed every single grocery day, minus one the week after Wyatt was born. I have a grocery haul playlist that has well over 200 videos in it. The first video I ever put on this channel was a grocery haul. Um, I love doing them. They're fun. I think it allows you to see how we grow a lot of our own food, but we also get, we still get things from the grocery store. Um, I hope you get some ideas from the meal plan. And they're just fun to put together. They're also some of my best, better performing videos, which means y'all enjoy watching them. And I enjoy putting them out for you. But I just wanted a break. I needed a break. I, I was talking to a friend who's also a content creator and we're talking about how sometimes you just want to come home and put your groceries away. And I wasn't allowing myself to do that. But I did the last couple of weeks. And it was nice. But then today I woke up excited and ready to film a grocery haul for you. And I think that's something we can apply to many areas of our life. Sometimes we need to step back, take a break, get rejuvenated, and then we can come back rip roaring ready to go and that's how i feel today i'm ready to share a grocery haul with you so we're gonna head to walmart we're actually gonna go in the store because i'm thinking there might be some fall things out i don't know we're just gonna go see and then i've got a pickup order that we'll get and then when we get home i'll show you what i got and go over this week's meal plan before i head out I need to get this chicken broth out of the canner. I'm not 100% sure what order these videos are gonna come out in, but yesterday for me was Justin's birthday and I made some chicken broth, used the chicken for chicken casserole, used the broth to make some cream of chicken for chicken casserole, and then this is the extra broth that I can. And I did film that, but like I said, I'm not 100% sure what order they're going to come out in. Wyatt asked to come to Dollar Tree <laughs> and I'll never say no to Dollar Tree. You got? I got dinosaurs. dinosaurs. And not had dinosaurs. No spinosaurus. That's okay. We had the privilege of meeting some viewers in Dollar Tree. Y'all, if you ever see us out and about, say hello. I love getting to speak to you. So that was a really nice surprise today. So what we got? Wyatt got him some of those little dinosaurs, and I got these window clings. The kids like to put these on the mirror in their bathroom. I'm, I'm gonna put those in the bathroom. You're gonna put them on the mirror? Yeah. And when we decorated our coffee bar, I told Audrey it would look nice to have Mommy. some little LED lights on it. Uh, it pumpkins. pumpkins. So we got some pumpkin LED lights. Now over to Walmart. Isn't this cute? You got you a Mickey Mouse in Dollar Tree, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Mickey Mouse? These uh, picks are just 98 cents. Those are really pretty. And the acorns. Scarecrows. Let's buy some more fall things back here. It looks like the school supplies are headed out and fall things are moving in. Y'all, as I was thinking, as I, 
He's singing a song about his dinosaurs. As I saw that outfit back there that I told y'all I liked, Audrey's not in here with me today, but if she was, she would have said, Mama, that looks like you. She is really good about seeing things and noticing things that I would like. So I could just hear her say, Mama, that, that looks like you. What is this I see? Alani Witch's Brew. As I was looking at these, someone walked by and I heard her tell the person she was with that they were really good, so I asked her about them. She said they taste like the caramel apple suckers, so I'm excited about that. All things pumpkin are making an appearance. Let me just tell you, y'all know how to make somebody feel special. I had the privilege of running into another viewer when I was at Walmart. Absolutely encouraged me and made my day. Thank y'all. I was reading through comments this morning, reading all the sweet comments, and I've just been so blessed by you all today. Y'all were saying thank you for making these videos. Uh, thank you for making this content, y'all. I need to be telling you thank you. Thank you for watching, and thank you for being a part of our family. We're just regular old people and the fact that you all care about what we got going on and enjoy spending some time with us blesses my heart. I'm going to show you what I got at the grocery store and I think what I'll do is go through the meal plan as I show you what I got. I got some whole milk and I thought I had Justin's Fairlife milk on the order but maybe I didn't. I need to go back and check on that. I got some little cream sodas for the boys. I got Audrey some Olipops, strawberry vanilla, and orange squeeze. And then some Mellie Yellas and Diet Dr. Peppers. I got two of the Cosmic Stardust Alani and two of the Pink Slush. And then when we were in the store, I saw this Witch's Brew, so I got one of those to try. Some Juicy Juice, orange, what do you get? Orange Tangerine. Some yogurt. We needed some more butter. We actually needed to stock up on a few things. Audrey's been doing a lot of baking lately. Baking, bacon. <laughs> Sounds like, you know, from some pork. Uh, baking. I'm Y'all, I'm from the South. I got a country accent. <laughs> You're just going to have to bear with me. She's been doing a lot of baking lately. And I, sh I don't know why I just got one thing of butter. I should have got several. It'll be alright. I'll get some more. Uh, but we needed to stock up on a few baking essentials. Sour cream. I needed this for a recipe this week. I'll tell you about that in just a second. Some sandwich bread and some cinnamon raisin bagels. Bananas, cauliflower, strawberries. And y'all, I we've got so many watermelons <laughs> coming in right now. It's such a blessing. We are enjoying watermelon for sure. Some bologna for sandwiches and pepperonis for snacking, string cheese for snacking. The littlest boys have really in, been enjoying like snack plates for lunch with pepperoni and cheese and some fruit. So, yeah, that'll be good for that. Mild cheddar cheese, again, for a recipe. We needed some more cocoa powder and some more brown sugar and some more white sugar. Audrey has been making some delicious brownies from scratch homemade brownies that have peanut butter in them. I got some more peanut butter and I was looking at these and I didn't mean to get both of them, but I did and that's fine because I like this one, the Jeff Natural with honey. It's my favorite, but I didn't know if she wanted that for her brownies. So I was gonna get just the regular Jeff Creamy and I ended up with both of them, but that's totally fine. They'll get used. Some more yum yum sauce because we're gonna do sausage and rice for dinner one night and we like yum yum sauce well on a lot of things it's good 
we needed some more mayonnaise, got some s'mores pop tarts, some vanilla wafers because I want to make Granny Audrey's chocolate pudding again this week, so I needed those for that. Got some honey bunches of oats, a variety pack of the Great Value granola bars. We did cinnamon rolls with bacon one morning this past week, and everybody loved it. So I got some more cinnamon rolls, and then you'll see in a second I got some bacon. I actually got a couple of things of bacon. I got this fully cooked bacon because I like to grab this out and use it in the morning sometimes, and I thought we could do that with those bagels. But then I also got some bacon to make with the cinnamon rolls. Sauerkraut, because we're gonna do kraut and weenies one night. Hadn't done that in a while, and that's a budget-friendly meal that can feed a large family, and it's just really good. So we're gonna do that. I saw these, these air fryer garlic parmesan. I got two of them. And we're gonna, instead of using it in the air fryer, we're gonna do it like a sheet, sheet pan meal. Do y'all remember, and some of y'all can still get these. I see y'all getting them in grocery hauls sometimes. But the farmer's market sheet pan seasoning packs, I used to love getting those. And my Walmart doesn't carry them anymore, or I haven't been able to find them. And I ran across these when I was looking on the app and thought, you know, I'm going to get that and I'm going to use it as a sheet pan meal. I'm going to do chicken, potatoes, carrots. I may even roast the cauliflower, put that on there and do that with it. We'll just have to see. Our hot dogs for kraut and weenies and turkey sausage for when we do oh. sausage and rice. What did you, oh, you dropped the plates. I'll help you. We were out of garlic powder. We've been out of garlic powder for a while and I've just been using fresh garlic because we harvested a good bit from the garden. But Justin's been wanting some garlic powder to put on pizza and different things. And I've been meaning to make some of my own but I've never dehydrated garlic. I hear it can be a little bit tricky. I suppose that would be a um, good time to have a freeze dryer. But I went ahead and grabbed some garlic powder for now. I got this broccoli to do broccoli casserole this week. I want to do a chicken broccoli and rice casserole. So that's what that's for. These chicken tenders, they're the honey battered chicken tenders. I haven't gotten these in a while. I can't remember if the kids like them. I hope they do. But I got those and waffle fries to do as a lunch one day. Some of these microwave pepperoni pizzas for lunch or feed yourself night. We have one night where everybody finds their own thing, does their own thing. So those may get used for that. I did go ahead and get this bag of frozen chicken breast tenderloins. We've got our whole chickens in the freezer, but I thought these this might be easy to use for that sheet pan chicken that I'm going to do with this garlic parmesan seasoning. Mac and cheese to go with our kraut and weenies because we just always do that. We just always do box mac and cheese when we do kraut and weenies. Uh, let's see, pizza because we're going to have a pizza night. Pepperoni for meat. And a while back they substituted my tombstone cheese pizza for a Red Baron and it was good. So I went ahead and got another one of those this week. And then I think everything else is non-food. Some plates dish soap, toothpaste, Audrey needed some more vitamins, and then some diapers. I checked my chicken broth when I came in, and they all sealed, so that's good. I'm going to let them sit there a little while longer, and then they can go in the pantry. Oh, you know what else? I forgot to show y'all. I I, when I came in, I went ahead and put them in the freezer, but I got some fudge pops as well. Those are just in the freezer. I'm going to get everything put away. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today. It was a fun day. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh. Everybody's dropping the plates. Oh. <laughs> Bye, y'all.